Hello friends, I hope you are feeling completely well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Arash and I'm here to teach you French language in English. As you already know and you watched the previous video, we spoke about how to make a question in French language and we told them uh, to hold the whole three parts of questioning in the previous video. In this video, I'm at first I'm gonna uh, speak about Kesco. If I have time, I will go through the book and I will tell you uh, uh, the things in the book. But uh, at first about the word Kesco. Kesco. We are going to uh -huh, this one. Kesco. We are going to know what is Kesco and uh, where it comes from. Kesco. It's a question word and it is called what but how it is produced in French language. Okay, I will delete it. Guys, we have a question word. As you already know, we have different question words in languages and in French language also we have different types of question words. One of them is quoi. It is pronounced quoi and it is and, and the meaning is what. Quoi what but this there's a difference between this question word and other question words in french it is impossible to put it at the beginning of the sentence be careful about this matter and pay attention that it is impossible to put quoi at the beginning of the sentence if you uh, see and if you remember in previous video i told that in the first type of questioning avec intonation we can whenever we have question words we can put change the place of the question word we can put it at the beginning of the sentence or we can put it at the end like ou in the previous video uh, in our examples but quoi is the question word that it is impossible to change it if you want to change the place of quoi you must convert this word to another one. So what will happen? Qua is placed in the middle of the sentence or sometimes, I don't know, at the, at the end, but it is impossible to put it at the beginning. So for example, you have vous avez, vous avez, you have quoi in the, in the middle of the sentence, quoi, what? Vous avez quoi means you have what? Uh, dans votre sac, dans votre sac, dans votre sac, sac means a bag, votre sac, your bag, dans votre sac, in your bag. Vous avez quoi dans votre sac? You have what or what do you have in your bag? And you see that the place of the quoi is in the middle of the sentence. As you already know and I told you in the previous video, you can... In, uh, at first, at first, I have a question for you. What kind of questioning it is? Bravo! It is, it is avec intonation because there is no esco here, there is no uh, inversion, inversion. So this is the normal type of questioning, and the first one that is avec intonation. And do we have any question words? It is without question word or with the with the question words? Surely it is obvious that we have a question word and it is qua and the place it in the in the middle of the sentence. So if you remember, I told that when we have a question uh, uh, with avec intonation, we can change the place of the uh, question word. It, 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 is, it is able to uh, come at the beginning of the sentence and also it is able to, to, to go at the end. So, quoi, for quoi, it is impossible to put it at the be beginning. If we want to change the place and we want to put it at the beginning of the sentence, it must be converted to another word which is called, which is called quo. Co. So, co vous avez. Quoi is changed to co, and after that, it 
it's possible to put it at the beginning of the sentence. We, we, it's impossible to say quoi vous avez dans votre sac. It's not correct. Quoi vous avez dans votre sac is not correct. If you want to put it at the beginning, you must change it to co. So co vous avez. Co vous avez dans votre dans votre sac. Que vous avez dans votre sac? Exactly, it is the same related to meaning. Vous avez quoi dans votre sac? Que vous avez dans votre sac? What do you have in your bag? Then, this is avec intonation. Suppose that we want to make a question with quoi, but more polite. Mm -hmm. So we must uh, put an esco in the. We must add an esco in the phrase. So it is converted to. Uh, so it, as you already know, in esco format, surely hundred percent we must put the question word at the beginning of, of the sentence. It's impossible to change the place of the question word in esco format. The question word must come at the beginning of the sentence. So, quoi, when quoi wants to come at the beginning, as I told you, it is converted to co, then esco, then we, we write esco to make it more polite, and after that, the rest of the sentence, vous, a, vous avez dans votre sac. So, the complete sentence is Quesco vous avez dans votre sac But there is an error here guys What is the mistake? These two vowels meeting each other And as you already know When two vowels meeting each other in French language The first one is deleted And instead we put an apostrophe So instead of Quesco We must tell Kesko, Kesko, and it is the very guy that Kesko came into French language. It was before it was quoi, then quoi came in in the beginning of the sentence. It was impossible to come with this format, so it uh, had to change. It had to uh, uh, had to convert to co. And after that, we put esco uh, uh, beside co, next to co, and it uh, it was converted to kesco. So kesco, all of these words kesco means what? But what kind of what? What in a sentence that is polite, that is more polite? Kesco vous avez dans votre sac. Kesco vous avez dans votre sac. Perhaps you wonder that is it possible to inversion to do inversion uh, inversion when we have esco for example we say kesco avez vous no 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 it is impossible guys it's impossible to do inversion when you have esco it's impossible that I say esco habitez vous it's impossible you hundred percent must say Esco vous habitez. What esco habitez vous is impossible. Whenever you have esco, it's impossible to do inversion. And whenever you do inversion, it's impossible to put esco. Exactly. Qu'est-ce que vous avez dans votre sac? It's a really good question. What do you have? And really polite. What do you have in your bag? And guys, suppose that you want to use uh, this question word quoi when you have uh, a really polite uh, format of questioning that is inversion inversion is the most polite format of questioning so quoi you know that in inversion part also you must put your question word at the beginning of the sentence so it's impossible to put quoi it is converted to co then you do what you do inversion here avec vous don't forget to put hyphen between them when you do the inversion co avez vous dans votre sac dans votre sac 
Echo avez vous dans votre sac? Again the same problem. So we delete this first one. We put apostrophe and instead of Co avez vous, we must tell Qu'avez vous dans votre sac? Qu'avez vous dans votre sac? This is avec inversion. So guys, three formats of one question. You want to say you want to ask a question with quoi? And the question is what do you have in your bag? Vous avez quoi dans votre sac? This is with quoi and quoi is placed in the in the middle of the sentence. You want to change the place so it and uh, bring it in at the beginning so it is it must be converted to co. So co vous avez dans votre sac both of them avec intonation. Here we you you want to make it more polite so you will add esco. Uh, 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 next to co and it is converted to kesco kesco vous avez dans votre sac and here next to ke, uh, co that is at the beginning of the sentence you put inversion inversion format of vous avez that is avez vous and it is turned into qu'avez vous dans votre sac qu'avez vous dans votre sac what do you have in your bag have a good time guys now you can make a lot of questions with kesco qua co and you know whatever exists related to questioning three formats and uh, below the uh, video in comment uh, for in, in the comment part please make so many questions and uh, as an ex as examples and write for me i will be happy to see them and if you have any problems i will make them correct have a good time bye